Hey everybody, it's Aaron, and I'm gonna show you how to use Restreamio to send your stream to multiple places at the same time. You do one stream and it goes out to whichever platforms you want to send it to all at once. Um, let's dive in. If you find yourself looking for help with OBS stuff or streaming stuff all the time on YouTube, consider subscribing to this channel because that's exactly what I do here. And if there's a specific topic that you want me to make a video about, you can let me know in the comment section. In fact, I'm making this video for CLG Esports, um, but also for all you guys, so enjoy. All right, so first go to restream.io and create an account. It's free to sign up, and once you do, you will come to this page right here. And you can begin adding channels right away. They put some of the more popular ones in here. So um, we'll start with Twitch. I'm gonna click Twitch and then connect Twitch. And then it's going to look at whatever Twitch account you're currently logged in as. If you're not logged in as the one that you want to add, then click the log out here, log in to the correct one, and then do this process again. Um, but then you'll come to this screen and you'll authorize. And now that that's authorized, Twitch is now connected to your Restream account. So now let's add a different kind of channel. Let's add a YouTube channel. Well, you can click Add Channel and then look for YouTube Events connect YouTube events, and then find the account that you want to connect with. Then if you have more than one channel that you manage, you just pick the one that you want to connect. This is the default title, but you can change this in another area, so don't worry too much about this right now. Just hit save. All the other popular streaming services like Facebook and Periscope, which is Twitter's streaming platform, can be added in exactly the same way that we just did. Now, what if you want to add a specific channel that you don't have the login information for? Well, if, if you can get a stream key, then that's going to be all you need. So let's say somebody provides you with their Twitch streams stream key, uh, but not the login information. Well, how do you add that in Restreamio? You're going to add a custom RTMP. So let's go to add channel. And down at the bottom here, you see custom RTMP. Now this will require an upgrade. So when you click on it, it's gonna ask you to upgrade your account. If you click that, you go in and it's gonna show you a bunch of different options. And you can toggle monthly or yearly pricing. You'll get a discount if you pay for a whole year. You'll see what each package gives you. You get extra destinations, extra RTMP pull links. I use the professional which is $490 a year, but it gives me a lot of extra destinations and I get extra RTMP pull links. Okay, so adding the custom RTMP, if you have your upgraded account, you're gonna put the ingest URL here. And a quick way to find that is to actually just type in Twitch ingest into a search and find the stream.twitch.tv slash ingests and then just pick the top option and copy this portion here without the curly brackets stream key part. Just copy that and paste it here. And then stream key is where you're gonna put the stream key for that Twitch channel. And then you click add channel and that's it. Now you're able to add streaming destinations without needing the login information. You just need that ingest URL and a stream key. Now when you've added it, you're gonna see custom RTMP here but it's not gonna say the channel name. So what I recommend you do is click the gear, edit settings, and then type in a display name for the channel. Arn Hawaii on Twitch or something like that. So that you remember which one's which in case you end up adding multiple custom RTMPs. Now you'll notice these toggles here uh, determine which channel is on or off when you decide to go live. And you can actually change these while you're live as well in case you forget to enable one that you meant to or you had one enabled you didn't mean to have. You can turn it off midstream without having to stop your stream in your streaming software. When you're live, you'll also see a preview over here on the right-hand side of your actual stream. One fun thing about that is that if you turn all of the streams off and you stream to the Restreamio account, you'll see the live stream here and be able to look and look at the quality, listen to the audio, all without actually making it to the final destinations because none of them are actually toggled on yet. It's kind of a neat way to test to make sure that your streaming software and Restreamio are connected and working together. 
To update titles, you can click on the update titles portion here at the top. And then you can either enter in a title here and update all, which will update the title on all of those uh, destinations, or you can go to each individual one and click edit, and then edit it for each individual destination. Just keep in mind that if you title all, it will change the stream titles of every channel connected to your Restreamio account, whether you have them toggled on or off in the dashboard. All right, so you've connected accounts and all that good stuff and you've set up the titles. Now, how do you actually get the key to put in your streaming software so that when you hit go live, it connects with Restreamio? On the right side here, by streaming software RTMP, click the RTMP settings and then your stream key will be right here. You can click that, it'll copy it to your clipboard, and then that is a stream key that you're going to use in your streaming software. It's OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS or wherever. When it asks for that stream key, make sure that you've selected Restreamio as the streaming service, and then paste this key in there. If you're using an older version of OBS Studio and you have two options for Restreamio, choose the one that says Restreamio RTMP. Another really awesome feature of Restreamio is the combined chat. So since you're gonna be broadcasting to multiple channels at the same time, it'd be great to see all of the chat going on all in just one chat box instead of multiple. So if you go to the left-hand side here and click the three dots, you click the chat app and you'll be able to download an app for Windows that combines all of the chats in your Restreamio into one place. And it even shows icons next to each chatter showing where they're watching from. Another awesome feature that Restreamio just recently added is a scheduler. Now, if you click on scheduler on the right-hand side, you can actually upload a video file and then broadcast it to whichever channels you've added to Restreamio at a custom date and time of your choosing. Now, this is a paid feature. So there are file size limitations, duration limitations, limitations on the number of videos that you can queue at once. Um, but the plans are tiered, so depending on how you use it is how much you'll pay. This is especially cool for Twitch users who used to be able to upload a video and premiere it as a live broadcast and now can't. You can get back to that workflow using Restreamio. That about covers it. That is how you use Restreamio. Um, leave a comment if you have a specific question that I can answer for you about it. I use it every single day at work and um, hopefully I can help you out. I hope you will consider subscribing to this channel because I upload all kinds of stuff like this all the time and if you're a streamer and you have questions, I probably answered them in a video that I've already made or am about to answer them in a video that's on the way. So click the bell button too so you get notified when I upload uh, new stuff. Thanks for watching. Welcome and thanks for calling the R in Hawaii YouTube hotline. In a few words, tell us what you're calling about. You can say things like, my stream won't start, or how did you do that thing with your webcam? I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Press zero to reach an operator who can assist you.